It's your boy Papa Duck, and if you don't know who I am, you ask me to learn today. I done done songs with some of the top rappers in the game, like Gucci Man, Rick Ross, Lil Boost, Trina. I done did beats for Ply, and the list goes on and on. But right now, you tune in Duck Sauce, nigga, quack, quack. <laughs> What's happening? It's your boy Papa Duck, and this is... Duck Sauce Vlog 8, bitch. Believe that. And you already know. Shouts out to everybody that been watching this motherfucker. Hey, I'm bringing this live to y'all indirect. You feel what I'm trying to say? This is the Duck Sauce. The real sauce. A lot of people be telling y'all that bullshit about this music business. But I'm going to get it to your blood raw. Because you already know. I done been a lot of places. Uh, done work with a lot of people. Uh, done did a lot of things. Blood and ass. I made a hell of a lot of money. Yes, sir. Hey, no, bitch. Don't go nowhere. We, you know, we'll talk about, you know, um, how it all started out, you know, with your career. Um, right. You know, working, you know, who all you like really work with, beat names and stuff. Like, how do you feel about, um, you know, these new rappers in the industry with the red, the purple hair, you know, the rainbow grills, like all that stuff. Like, do you feel like it's the industry real commercial now? It don't matter, man. I'm always doing radio interviews, you know what I'm saying? I try to put my platform out every chance I get. And like I say, if you or somebody you know, y'all got a radio station, y'all got a podcast, y'all want to get me on now, just holler at me. That's all you got to do. And I'm a do it. it. Mm. And do you feel like if you would have, like, I don't know, but I guess, like, where, like, where, um, hmm. I'm trying to think of, like, a good, like, a good way to put it, but, like, <laughs> what do you feel like the industry kind of, like, went wrong? You know what I'm saying? God like, damn, God damn. Where you feel like you should be versus where these new people come in yeah. and it's just, like, they just, you know, just staying through. Right. Um, you know, I'm about that. I'm always about that. You know, educate people, and you know, that's what my vlog is yeah, about. Like I want you to be real. Like now, keep in mind, anytime you do a radio interview or any type of interview, you want to make sure you get all the proper questions out. Both. All the other shit that they want to talk about, nah, I don't want to talk about that. Give them your social media, give them your name, the name of your project, get, get the specifics out. Woo. Don't talk about who got this and who got hurt over here and I fuck all that. We can't here to do an interview. So make that interview about you. Take advantage of this shit. You understand what I'm saying? And that is the sauce. Huh? Check it. If you, your artist, you want to put your business or anything on this vlog, hit the number on the bottom of the screen and we're going to make it happen. You feel what I'm trying to say? This is Duck Sauce. Huh? Uh, yeah, definitely. Like, you know, just like regular questions, like you're saying, you know, how you can get into the business, what you should do, shouldn't do. Um, especially, like, if you're a female, or, you know, what, how you should spend your money. Red flag. Man, I got so much information, man. This is going to be a real good interview. Yeah, I'm excited. I'm excited. So Y'all already know, baby, this is quack question number one. So get your pad and your pad and, your, and whatever, because you might learn. So check this out. All the way from Tallahassee, Florida. Uh, uh Jimmy, Jimmy Twenty One. Want to know? Do I still use CDs? And if I do, how effective are they? Yeah, yeah, yeah. CDs. Now I'm gonna tell you something. A lot of people tell you, "Oh, CDs, they they extinct." And oh, CDs, that's the old way. I'm gonna tell you something. Though. Let me let me just get to your blood raw, right? Baby, baby. Just cause we living in 2018, it don't mean everybody got a 2018 vehicle. God damn it. Do you got one? So what they tell you? The average bitch running around still got a CD player in their motherfucking car. So what's the matter? So yes, CDs are effective. I want to spend a shitload of money on CDs. Is that right? Because it's more practical to go with the Facebook and the Instagram and other social media platforms. Cheaper to promote, but CDs are still effective. Yeah. You understand what I'm saying? So yes, I still use CDs. And this is what we do. Give you a good example. If I'm going to Ocala, Florida, I'm going to boost my shit in Ocala, Florida on Facebook, Instagram, and whatever else. 
Plus, we're gonna hit the club that night on a hot night with CDs. Now, we might hear them about a good 60, 70 CD, but guess what? What? It's still effective. They seen it online, and they seen it in their face. When you up there in the club, hand your shit out. So is CD still effective? What you think? Talk to him. Fucking right there is. Okay then. I get out there and hand your motherfucking penny because I just gave you the sauce. You got that? Bitch! Man, I'm just at the studio with my dog OG Sip and we just talking about this so-called new music shit. Yeah. I don't know what the fuck it is, but we just elaborating on it right now, you know what I'm saying? So hey, y'all check this out, man, how we sit in the studio and, and we get to it. Roll the motherfucking clip. Check it, it's your boy Duck. You already know this Duck sauce, and I'm here with my motherfucking dog, and we just chopping it up by how this the music is nowadays and shit, my nigga. Like, what's your insight on how shit is today, bro? Yeah, man. Shit, music just fucked up, man. You know right. what I'm saying? It ain't, it ain't real no more, bro. It just can I outstunt him? Can he outstunt me? Or can we stunt together? Right. And, and then fall apart and start beefing. So other motherfuckers can stun against us, you know what I'm saying? Right, 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 shit, right. Shit fake, man. Shit ain't real no more. I Music feel... ain't real no more. Bro. At all. You got these people wearing dresses now. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? It. And then we, we call that shit. They, they call, they call that it. shit gangster. They call it gangster. <laughs> I grew up on A Ball MJ, UGK, up. 3 Straight up. Mop, Play and Fly. Right. Tree. You know what I'm saying, bro? You ain't never see them niggas do none of this shit. No fingernail polish on their nail. Right. No motherfucking. All this fruity. <laughs> Gay bay and all that <laughs> shit, bro. What's up with the Merces, though? What the fuck is a Merce? Man, look, I don't know nothing <laughs> else, bro. All this shit new to us, bro. Straight up. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm a young, old show nigga. So right. when they come to the music and just like seeing how this shit transformed, but them, them white folks fucked us up. Fuck us up. Need that. <laughs> they figured they couldn't get us one way, so through the music, they ate us, bro. Right, right, right. Now they right. got. They got all the young chicks. They got all the young dicks. Young chicks out here just lost, man. They don't know what's going on. They right. think it's good because they stunned a little bit, but they That's fucking it, it up for our next generation, man. Check it, man. Like I told y'all, go to clubmatch.com. You know what I'm talking about? Remember, dog, been working on this site for the last two years, man. Like I said, I'm not a rapper, I'm an innovator. So, like an entrepreneur. So we came up with this plugmatch.com website. If you're a producer, rapper, singer, manager, it don't matter. If you into this entertainment business player, you need to be plugged in on plugmatch.com. You feel me? And when you sign up, check this out. When you sign up, you enter a chance of getting a free verse from me. You understand me? And not only is we going to do the verse, we're going to shoot the video too. So plug in, man. Get your plugs up. Plugmatch.com, huh? That being said, my nigga, this is Duck Sauce. I'm here with my motherfucking dog. And we just chopping it up in the studio. You feel what I'm saying? It's been a long day. And we getting to it. Like I said, y'all stay tuned, my nigga. Because I'm going to keep bringing y'all that real shit. In the words, you got to tell the bro if you get up out of him. Fuck him with me. We just exposed y'all to the real shit. That fake shit gonna be over with soon. <laughs> they can't keep that. wearing dresses forever. <laughs> Check this out. Let me talk to y'all for a minute. This goes out to all the producers, the rappers, the singers that send this music shit. Let me tell y'all something. I know a lot of y'all wanna get paid for what y'all do, but y'all got to put in y'all motherfucking work. See, a lot of these niggas ain't gonna tell you this shit. And I ain't gonna sit here and bullshit with you, bro. I see a lot of video vixens. I see a lot of people that shoot videos and do photography work. Just because you ain't getting a check, y'all don't want to work. But let me tell you something, bro. When you put in the motherfucking work, when you get out there and network, you understand what I'm saying? Your phone will ring and you will get a check. So if you know it's a rapper out there, he building himself up. You see this man grinding. You know he got a name for himself. Why won't you shoot a video for him? Cause he ain't paying you. If you're a video vixen, a nigga call you and say, listen man, can you get in this video with me? Just cause he ain't paying you, you don't wanna get in the video. But you know he'll 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 up and coming artist. You know people fucking with him. You see him on his way. But you don't wanna do it cause you ain't getting a check. Man, let me tell y'all something, man. Everybody wanna get a check out this shit, but don't nobody wanna put in the motherfucking work. 
You know how long it took me to get a paid show? You know how much free shit I did before I got one paid show? You feel me? And if it makes sense, it's gonna make dollars. I see this shit all the time. You got to put in your work. It ain't gonna be no different for you. Everybody gotta grind. You gotta grind too. So, to be smart, let's go over this again. If you're a rapper, artist, video vixen, you don't get what you do. Work with other people that you see on the grind. That you see on the rise. That, they, that you see that series about the shit. Don't, don't, it ain't all about a check. Promise you, dog. If you get out there, you do the work. If you get out there and build your face and you get out there and network, I promise you your phone won't ring. And I promise you, you're going to start getting paid. Until then, you're wasting time. So don't be like the other lazy ass motherfucking people. Get out there, put in the work, get paid, and get paid for doing what you love to do. And this is the sauce. Bitch! It is what it is, and we <laughs> sign it off, nigga. You already know what it is. Hold on, hold on, watch out, watch out, watch out. I ain't gonna lie, I just love to cook. You know what I'm saying? My mama always told me, she say, we can, cause that's my real name, cause you know I'm Haitian. Watch out, little bitch. She said, if I teach you how to cook, you ain't never got to wait on nobody to eat. Yeah, boy. And plus, women love me and they can cook. <laughs> so I learned how to cook, bitch. Do it. Okay, you back in the kitchen, bitch. Listen, I'm finna show y'all how to cook some real motherfucker simple. Listen, man. You wanna cook your old lady something or you wanna cook your churn something? Teach your churn how to cook it on you, damn what it is. I'm gonna show y'all how I make my motherfucking smothered chicken. And then it's this time, listen, 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 before you go talking shit, I am gonna show y'all how I use ketchup. Yes, ketchup. How I use ketchup to make like a, like a, um, like a stew base chicken. But stay tuned. I'm gonna show you. Can you tune to duck sauce? First thing you gonna do, you gonna take the chicken, man. See you, man, bitch. Okay, now listen, while that's a little cooking, we are gonna take some shots, onion, got thyme, got some leaves, this baby boy, this that shit, huh? Real double two, and I got real garlic, I use real garlic most time. Face big thigh, give a fuck, nigga, face lift. Somebody please go and get the cameraman. Okay, we're gonna fry the chicken up. I'm gonna take the shots and cook the chicken, man. Put that shit down the side, you know what I'm gonna do? Fuck it. You gonna put all of it up. You wanna keep it. You wanna keep it all. Keep that about that much, you know. This nigga shit rap. Now DJ, let this motherfucker rap. Hey DJ, DJ. I need you to put this on replay. I keep that pistol. Cause boy, I'm a real ass nigga. Yeah. I keep it 100, and all over there be nothing. I'm by that cash if you like me. Yeah. Kiss a nigga ass. Yeah. 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 There you have it. There you motherfucker have it. Look at that shit, man. Don't get discouraged by the, the, the ketchup.
ketchup is just a tomato base. It's just like using tomato paste. It's the same shit. Mm, some other chicken and rice. Hmm? Told y'all, man. Come to my motherfucking kitchen. If you want to eat, I'm going to feed you. That's just what my grandma taught me. You understand me? If your nigga don't cook for you, <laughs> Make sure y'all got my new motherfucking mixtape, bitch. bitch. It's called Some Gotta Give, bitch. bitch. Nothing but real music. Yeah, nigga. Y'all already know how I'm coming. Uh. Every album I put out, boy, you got some real music there, boy. Okay, okay, okay. And my shit on every major platform YouTube, huh. Spotify, Tidal, Diesel, I took all, oh, man. Listen, man, the motherfucker list goes on and on. Both. Go grab my mixtape, Some Gotta Give. You understand what I'm saying? Cause my shit is on motherfucking fire. Bitch! Can't even come see the damn movie, man. That motherfucker sold out. Jurassic Park sold out and Uncle Drew sold out. Damn, Drew. I catch this shit another time, man. Damn. I mean, you know, normally on Father's Day, you know what I'm saying, I get together with my kids. They, you know, they even take me out or, you know, get me something. Father's Day or whatever the case may be. But I looked at it a little different this year. Wow. This year I sat out and I made a lot of goals. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I've accomplished a lot of my goals and I am still accomplishing a lot of the goals that I've sat. Alright. So this year, man, I just wanted to do it a little slightly different. You know what I'm saying? I'm kind of proud of myself. So I took myself out for Father's Day. For real. Wait. So the way I came. And salute all the fathers out there. Salute all the single mothers out there. And just salute all the aunties, the stepmama, the stepdaddies. That's out there helping. You know what I'm saying? So this is a treat to myself. What? What? Duck sauce. <laughs> Make a movie, I can tell the way she looking. The mama, she wanna do me. He done pop so many bottles. Some rock, peach, and Moscato. And my dog got the loud. We bout to go full throttle. Twit, pick, time, the mama, you need to follow. Take a picture, show the world how we do it down in the bottom. And she don't want no dollars. I mean, like I said, ain't that wrong with it, man. You wanna take yourself out, man. Do that, you know what I mean? Like I said, I just want to do something special for myself. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes you gotta take time out for yourself. You feel me? Like I say, man, I, 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 I side out to say I want to make more money with my companies. I want to do something different. I want to be a better father. I want to be a better person. You feel what I'm trying to say? This ain't got nothing to do with no rap shit. That's why I tell you I'm not no rapper, man. I'm a real man first. Then I'm an artist because I love what I do. 
But like I say, man, you know, treat yourself sometime, bro. Ain't nothing wrong with that. You feel me? And I think that, you know, one thing about it, man, it shouldn't just be Father's Day one day out of the year or Mother's Day. You see what I'm saying? It's Father's Day every day and it's Mother's Day every day. You feel what I'm trying to say? So, and one more thing I want to bring to y'all attention is the stepfathers and the stepmothers, they don't get the praise that they just do. You feel what I'm trying to say? And I want to commend y'all. If you was a stepdaddy or you was a stepmom, I commend you. Because it take a real motherfucker to raise another person's child. You feel what I'm trying to say? But like I say, man, it's all love on this end, baby. I'm going to keep it all the way live and all the way gangster. 100. It's your boy Papa Doug. Y'all keep on keeping on doing what you do. And if I don't never meet you, just for you being the person you is, I love you. Straight up and down. I ain't with none of that plan. Bitch, I'm on my dick right now. I'm telling you about it. Bitch, all right, I'm a bitch, I'm ready to do a hundred years. All that wildness on my motherfucking chiller. And fuck me right now, bro. Your boy pop up. But what these streets make a motherfucker cry, nigga. My God, these streets. These streets will make a grown man cry. My God, these streets. These streets will make a grown man cry. My God, these streets. These streets will make a grown man cry. From prison, said send a few. But to tell you the truth, nigga, I here fucked up too. My lady asked, why we don't have a good relationship? The bitches spend most of your time on Facebook. I swear to God, I wanna stop.